For many years, I've taught in, in the business and, and management uh, schools, and the students there face a very particular difficulty uh, when they come to write their assignments, and I'm going to explain about that because if you understand what their difficulty is, uh, you will understand something quite important, both about writing papers and about reviewing them. This difficulty derives from the fact that in business and management subjects, you're involved with different intellectual disciplines. Some of the papers that are written under the heading of business or management are pure social science papers. And the standards and the approach for writing such papers uh, comes out of the social science literature. But other papers are persuasive in nature. They're more like argumentative essays. And the standards and the approach for those papers comes from the humanities. Consequently, one of the first things that a student has to do is decide on what kind of paper it is that they are going to write, and then appreciate that there are particular standards and, and uh, approaches which are appropriate for what they're about. And it's the same when you come to review such papers. You've got to know what the standards are. The, the easiest ones, by far, are papers in the sciences. Where do you get a problem for a paper in the sciences? The problem comes out of the academic literature. It comes out of the precise discipline or sub-sub-sub-discipline in which you are going to be working. Uh, a scientific paper always begins with a very precise review of the literature. It quotes a lot of other papers uh, and it, it, it sets its scene and it does this with relatively few words because people in the sciences know where the, um, the, the points of pressure, as it were, are uh, for their discipline. 